Hi, I'm Shane with Scaletrains.com. I'm here with Ian, and we're going to chat about the latest shipment of SD40-2s, and that includes the brand new EMD lease in the blue and white, as well as the orange and black bandits. Let's learn more about both styles now. So Ian, let's talk about the EMD lease units. And you know, a couple of different really unique paint schemes. We got the orange and black X Milwaukee's, and then we have the repainted blue and white on the EMD lease. Let's start with the what they're called bandits. Yeah. And you know, the big thing on the bandits, of course, are uh, a lot of unique paint outs of, of how they painted out over the Milwaukee or the Sioux. And what's really cool is like on 6305, just on the fireman's side, you'll see the Sioux is bleeding through, whereas you don't see that on the on the engineer side or at all on 6313. You'll notice two things like how the uh, EMD logo is worn off on 6313. Yeah. Um, and then when you look back where they patched over the Milwaukee Road on uh, 6305, it's, it's almost like it's faded out. Yeah. And on 6313, it's almost all black. So uh, very unique in the way those two paint schemes are. And then of course, as uh, time went by, EMD was a little slow to do this, but uh, they went back and they painted them in this really attractive blue and white paint scheme uh, as part of their lease program. Since these are X Milwaukee's, a couple of unique details that are worth pointing out. You'll notice right behind the cab, you've got that uh, bell that's mounted uh, on the fireman's side. Yeah. And then of course, Milwaukee was known for that short fuel tank. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool is if you look at the fuel tank, um, the way we've designed the model, uh, the, the way the motor sits and everything, you've got a, it's truly see-through there in the bottom. There's nothing obstructing your view, like for okay. motor parts or any drivetrain parts. Oh, wow. So. Uh, pretty unique there, and then of course on the on the bandit units on the engineer side, they also have that all-weather window, yeah. um, which makes them pretty unique. The other thing too that uh, we should talk about are some of the lighting effects. Uh, you know, if you'll look, these have pretty special lighting effects, and really, <laughs> there's a lot going on. You've got operating class lights, yeah. so we can show folks how we can cycle between the white, the green, and the red, and the off. And then another thing that's really cool is. Uh, you've got prime strato light beacons that actually flash in DCC when using DCC. And you know, go on talking about that detail that we go to, you'll notice that there's two different types of prime strato lights. This one has a little bit taller base on it yeah. on the bandits versus the shorter base. They're on. also placed in a different location too on the on, on the top of the cab as well. Yeah, that's a great yeah. point. So on the on the bandits, they're they're just smack dab in the middle, and on the blue and white units, they've mm -hmm. actually been moved from the middle over to the left, and an ice skate antenna has been added to the locomotive. Uh, so the bandits are really cool. We talked about those, and then you got the blue and the whites. They're pretty standard locomotives. Um, and talking about standard, these have all the standard SD40-2 features. Externally, you're going to have things like the tread plate detail, all the plumbing up underneath the frame rail. Yeah. Um, you're going to have the see-through steps, uh, and of course, all that road name, road number specific detail. When we look on the inside, you're going to have the ESU design power pack with a super capacitor. So if you got a dead spot in your track, keeps the motor running, keeps the sound running for a few seconds, so that way you don't have to go back through that startup sequence. Uh, and of course, you know, can motor, flywheels, uh, all wheel drive, all wheel electrical pickup. You know, we see folks pulling on in YouTube videos well over 50 cars yeah, with a single locomotive. Mm -hmm. So uh, folks can get more details on our website, of course. Uh, and uh, here at the end of the video, we're going to run through all of the sound functions so folks can hear the startup shut down, ring the bell, blow the horn. So what you want to do is stay tuned to the end of this video. You can hear and see the difference. 